even with Kanye, you know what I'm saying? When I watch the Kanye documentary, and you gotta understand this, Kanye, I listen to Kanye every fucking day. Kanye is a fucking musical, lyrical genius. Mm-hmm. But some of the same people who was fucking over Kanye fucked over the people I know. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Let me ask you this: uh, Why you ain't mentioning Kanye? Yeah, that's y'all. He, he, you should be proud of Kanye. Wait, wait, yeah. wait, 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 you know what I'm saying? All of them work together. I cannot put Kanye over KD. KD, KD um, didn't get the opportunity to do certain things. And I know we all got the same 24 in uh, around the same time. But it's you got to understand this music industry. What's holding a, him back? This music industry. Um, selling bad deals. Yeah. Um, being you. blackballed. It's like it's a whole story. This this shit ain't. It's not slight. It's it's even with Kanye. You know what I'm saying? When I watch the Kanye documentary, and you gotta understand, this Kanye. I listen to Kanye every fucking day. Kanye is a fucking musical lyrical genius. Mm-hmm. But some of the same people who was fucking over Kanye fucked over the people I know. Wow. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. These are Chicago artists, and you got people. They see your talent, and they they. Listen, I cried watching the Kanye documentary and I talked to other people um, and they were emotional as well because we know Chicago has some of the most talented people in the fucking world there in Chicago. And it's like I understood what he was going through when motherfuckers trying to downplay him and trying to act like they are not important and relevant and shit and then when you trying to do for yourself then motherfuckers want to come around and take the credit or you get people mm-hmm. who give you these badass deals it's horrible mm-hmm. it's fucking horrible I done had a bad deal when my first publishing deal came out I had a bad fucking deal you know what I'm saying it's like when you when you're eager to get on you sound with these motherfucking people and they, mm-hmm. they look at you and then they don't pay attention to you because they go on to something that's bigger or better yet they think it's bigger or better then when you start coming up you know the congratulations and shit be fake it, fake it's is a it. shit mm-hmm. you in that it's room it's be fake as fuck I be looking mm-hmm. at some of the things um, I be looking at some of the things right now it's like man if y'all don't sit y'all goofy asses down <laughs> the music seem a little light right now for me I think it could. I, I mean, it's the all, same fucking thing. all around. I'm not just. You talking. ain't hurt the, the shit. The thing is that people are scared to be different. That's the problem because they feel like if they're different, they're not going to get the same traction as everybody else. And that's why I have the artists I have. And that's why I speak of the artists I have. Oh, by Poe. He's a Nigerian man. When I say he jam, he jams. You know what I'm saying? Mars. Mars jam. Music different as fuck. Don't sound like nobody. If you put 100 artists in the room, um, 95 of them gonna sound the same. Mm-hmm. What about Juice World? What about the Chicago him? artist? He dope. He dope. May he rest in peace. He was. He, he was. He, he was. He more for my kids though. I, I can't really get off into the. I can't. He got. He, wait, he got about four five songs that I jam to. I work out to him. I can't. But I'm. I, I'm not a Percocet. I can't do the Percocet. Right. You can't relate. It's. I, I can't it's that's more my kids, my children. You know what I'm saying? I'm more of that man, give me the beat and give me some lyrics, some real shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Talk about some real shit. I don't, mm-hmm. I'm not struggling every motherfucking day now. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I ain't common from over there. Common, common yeah. And and uh chance the rapper. Yeah. Yeah, they was talking real nice. They don't listen to them no more. They don't cuss enough. They, exactly. <laughs> But you know, yeah. common, common is conscious. Um, it's it's another. It was another. What was Tank artist. saying the other day? Remember, we were, you were showing me something. Oh, and Tank was, was talking Sam. about R and B. I mean, Sam, Sam. No, whatever. but it's the fact that um, what he's saying and how R&B he's saying R and B part. R and B is it. not here for them, but for me and you, baby, it's always around. <laughs> yeah, R&B gonna always be around. It's gonna come back though. It's coming back. I think it's coming back. Not if we depend on this new generation to make it. They don't even dare. To slow music You go to the party to These young niggas They don't even have No slow song I'm like damn Oh my they god don't wanna, They they do this In the corner I don't they understand How they still make babies They don't want you body They in their own world Yeah we on Boss Talk 101